What's going on Fight Fans, it's your host Sebastian and welcome back to the Boxing Tip. Now I've been just kind of stumbling around on the boxing websites and I found this particular article on the boxing scene. It is uh, referring to the rematch between Orlando Salido and Vasil Lomachenko. Now as you guys know, uh, the only loss on Lomachenko's record is to Orlando Salido. Um, the first fight was a pretty rugged fight. Uh, Salido didn't make weight coming into the fight. Bullied Lomachenko around within the first half of the fight. Poorly refed fight. A lot of low blows landed by Orlando Salido. But nevertheless, was fighting his fight, taking control. Uh, Lomachenko did make a rally uh, in the second half of the fight, almost stopping Orlando Salido in the 12th round. And as you guys know, Lomachenko coming off of that loss uh had a title shot in his third fight against gary russell dominated him dominated a few guys who were a little bit lesser known uh jumped up in weight fought at 130 pounds against the wb oh yeah the wbo champion roman rocky martinez knocked him out in the fifth round in spectacular fashion very brutal knockout goes on to fight nicholas walters and dominates him as well orlando salito hasn't has fought you know a few times after the Lomachenko fight had a fight of the year candidate with Francisco Vargas uh, was scheduled to fight Takashi Miura who had a fight of the year candidate with Francisco Vargas as well uh, sometime in November it was supposed to be or December actually it was supposed to be in December Orlando Salido had a pullout due to an injury so the fight never got made um now Salido this isn't the first time Salido has negotiated with Lomachenko to try to make a second fight. Uh, the biggest complaint coming from the Orlando Salido side was that he was not offered enough money to take the rematch. But since then, Lomachenko's stock keeps rising as he keeps dominating these fighters. Um, now he's a much more popular fighter, you know, in the American boxing scene. Orlando Salido, he's been a very popular fighter in the American boxing scene. He's always put on spectacular shows. Uh, I do believe that he does deserve compensation for the fight, for fighting Lomachenko again. He does hold the only win over Lomachenko, even though it's uh, pretty controversial. But nevertheless, Lomachenko is the bigger star. He holds, you know what I'm saying? He has the, he is the A side. But nevertheless, uh, because Orlando Salido fights anyone and everyone and I mean this dude really does make a living fighting you know what I'm saying he does have about 13 losses he's been a champion a number of, a handful of times I'm sure uh, I'd have to look back and check that out but uh you know he's he's a respectable fighter I mean other than the dirty tactics is not something that I'm very you know what I'm saying very fond of the low blowing the the significant amount of low blowing that he does is a little bit of a turnoff, but nevertheless, he gives some he, he gives us some very exciting fights. So I am a fan of Orlando Salido, uh, Lomachenko. I hold Lomachenko in very high regards as he's already proven to me that he is one of the most special talents to ever do it in boxing with his skill set and his just uncanny perception in the ring and re ring IQ. You know, so. Uh, but nevertheless, the article, uh, that's, you know, enough for that background. The article says, you know, Bob Arum told the boxing scene that they, he thinks that they've come to an agreement when it comes to all the negotiations, you know, about the fight in particular, uh, money, you name it. The only thing that's left to do now is talking to HBO about a date and they're aiming for March, which is a very good month to try to put the Vasil Lomachenko Orlando Salido rematch in given that that's the same month that Triple G and Daniel Jacobs are scheduled to fight along with the Jacobs and Triple G fight the undercard which I'm going to make a separate video on they're, they're talking about putting Gonzalez Quadras rematch and Usyk versus whoever they find for him hopefully it's another cruiserweight titleist or at least another top 10 cruiserweight uh, I think Alexander Usyk is highly talented one of the best fighters in the upper weight classes you know he needs another top guy in there with him so um, Minchuno was no joke though so don't forget that either but so yeah that's a very good month that they should uh really push for you know a, a date in March 
it gives a chance for Showtime to kind of get all their cards out of the way because they have some brilliant fights coming up. Uh, Broner Granados, Slatisening versus Mikey Garcia, Thurman versus Garcia. There's another good one. Oh yeah, Leo Santa Cruz versus Leo Santa Cruz versus Carl Frampton rematch. So a lot of interesting fights going on in 2017 in the first, uh, you know, in the first half of it or in the first bit of 2017 so far. And then we got Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko in April. I think they said the date was. Um, I'd have to take a look at that. But yes, I do like the Orlando Salido versus the Seal Lomachenko rematch. It gives a chance for Lomachenko to vindicate his only loss on his career. Um, in the amateurs, out of 366 fights, I think it is, something like that, he only had one loss and avenged that loss twice by beating the same guy who beat him. And now in the professionals, he's aiming to kind of do that again. In my opinion, Lomachenko molded into the fighter. The more you could tell, the more co you know, confident, the more, the more professional version of Vasil Lomachenko because of the Salido fight. I think that had a lot to do with it. Salido really showed Lomachenko what goes down in these pro games. It ain't always a pretty sight. So I give credit to Salido for a lot of the accomplishments that Lomachenko has, you know, in, in a some sort of bit, just because of the professionals, you know. Uh, Lomachenko spent a great deal of time in the amateurs. So Lomachenko kind of gave him his warm welcoming, welcoming to the professional games. And, you know, as, as you guys know, in my last Vasil Lomachenko video, when I was talking about what he should do next, I'm glad that he's staying at 130 pounds. I'm glad that he's trying to get his rematch with Salido just to kind of wipe his slate clean of the only loss because that is a huge argument when it comes to the, Lo the Lomachenko detractors. You know, that he has one loss, so he's not as good as he is. That fucking bullshit argument but nevertheless that's what they think so more power to them but yeah in my Lomachenko video I also said that I wanted to see him stay at 130 to unify titles uh, whether that's with the Francisco Vargas whether that's with the winners of Jezreel Corrales versus Takashi Uchiyama the rematch and Jose Pedraza versus Gervonta Tank Davis so if he can fight any of the winners of those guys, man, those are very competitive fights. But Lomachenko operates at a different level of competitiveness. So who knows? But in my opinion, those are competitive fights, at least the most competitive fights that he can get at 130. Whether they're competitive for him or not, uh, that remains to be seen. And then I would like to see him do a little more at 130, jump up to 135, and then, you know, start all over again. See what he can make happen up there. And then as long as he can handle it, keep moving up and keep doing his thing. I'd, I'd like to see it happen. I'm excited to see where Lomachenko goes in his career. Uh, for Orlando Salido, regardless if he wins or loses, I'm pretty sure he's going to be like a 20 to 1, 30 to 1, maybe even higher odds of being an underdog to Lomachenko, or higher odds of losing. I'd still like to see him fight. You know, if he decides to retire after this, I don't blame him. Man's been in so many wars, been in there with so many good fighters, Gamboa, Garcia, uh, Juanma, fucking Marquez, every, he's been there with a lot of great fighters, Vargas, Lomachenko, you name it. So if he decides to retire after the fight, I don't blame him. You know, I think that's probably, you know, he might be considering it given, you know, his career and where it's been or how, how it's gone. So uh, that's probably why he's looking to get compensated for the Lomachenko fight. Who knows? That's just a theory. But, I mean, it seems to fit a little bit. If he wants to keep fighting, he keeps fighting. Uh, the man's the man's a, the man's a warrior. He, he'll, he'll fight anybody, anytime. He was scheduled to fight Takashi Miura. Like I said, had to pull out of it. So, that kind of bit him in the ass a little bit on not fighting Lomachenko for a rematch earlier. But, we got to see the Walters fight. So, everything's been playing out pretty good, in my opinion. Um, now we get to see Miura and Francisco Vargas on the same card um, next year sometime. So, uh, you know, everything's working out pretty good. Uh, as long as they can get a date, then I don't see any reason why this fight shouldn't happen. I think the fight makes perfect sense. And uh, I'm excited for it because I'm a fan of both guys. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, do you want to see this fight? Do you think Lomachenko needs to redeem or get his vindication from his only loss? 
or get his redemption or his revenge for his only loss do you think would you rather see him in with a different 130 pounder would you rather see him fighting or move up in weight just let me know what you guys would like to see from Vasil Lomachenko and let me know who you think will win I'm pretty sure a majority of the people will agree that Lomachenko is probably going to win this rematch I sure as hell think he's going to um he's a different fighter than he was in his second professional fight I would like to see what you guys think if there is anybody who thinks Salido will win hey let me know let me know because it's not uh, it's not impossible you know what I'm saying it's not impossible and also I would like to see a little bit more stricter refereeing in this fight um, but like I said, just let me know what you guys think about the whole situation in general. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at The Boxing Tip. Share this with your boxing homies. Introduce somebody to boxing. Uh, boxing can never have enough fans. And there needs to be more people supporting our sport that we love so much. But once again, guys, this is your host, Sebastian, with The Boxing Tip. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and by the way, I, I got over 10 subscribers. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, like say that's a milestone for me I'm, I'm liking that i encourage everybody to subscribe to the channel uh for all those who are current subscribers of mine thank you so much i really appreciate you guys taking the time to peep me out and uh give me a little bit of a following man so big ups to y'all but like i said i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out